a new generation built out of his creation it's our way of life we're doing right yeah, that's right <laughs> won't you take a little Just in time for daylight. <laughs> I won't say much. I will say when a man from Arkansas says this is the worst road he's ever seen. That road is bad. <laughs> Satan bird. We don't have a clue what that is. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to go. We are ready to go. All right. Let's do it. So, I am sitting here all by myself, looking at this beautiful view. <laughs> Jacob forgot something very important. He forgot his elk tag in the truck, which is on the other side of that lake, back there quite a ways. So he dropped all his stuff and he's walking in there, so basically, 25 hours ago or 6, 26 hours ago, Jacob left Kentucky, came, picked me up in Missouri, and then we drove straight out here all night and got here at about, um, I think it was about 5, 45, 6 o'clock Colorado time. So uh, Jacob basically traveling for 25 hours and that road we just came up was probably the worst road I've ever been on. But anyway, we're here now. I think I heard a couple of hunters calling. We've already walked by a couple of camps. So hopefully, hopefully we can find some elk today. I've seen less people at the beach. Less people at the beach? No, them, I guess some guys that were camping back at road coming up through there and I had my head down looking at something and I, like, I caught me back up behind a tree real quick and I was like I poked out and I saw his I was like oh I was like oh, mistake number one not taking my bow with me did you talk to him? just for a second he said you quitting already? I said well I kind of forgot my tag <laughs> go, yeah you better get that <laughs>
go home. That's pretty neat. Big sucker. I thought it was a turkey. Nope. Can you see it? It's in a tree. Will it let us walk up to it? Or? We're about to find out. As if the mountain wasn't hard enough on it. <laughs> and it's really cold. things like a deer. Just wait. Well, we come in today. Me and Scotty come up this road this morning that was just completely awful. Uh, after realizing there's about six trucks back here, we decided to go for it anyways, but we worked our way pretty much all the way around this mountain. And we've been just taking it easy because we're worried we're going to get the altitude sickness, but we just kind of hung out right here this afternoon, rested up, ate some food, and we decided to go ahead and set up camp back here. So what we're gonna do is take our packs, we lighten them up and work our way over to this next ridge and just kind of work our way around, maybe glass down in this bottom. The bottom looks good on Onyx maps. So anyways, we got about probably four hours till dark. So plenty of time. Day two, me and Scotty didn't get much sleep last night. 
Turned out to be a lot colder than we thought. He was probably a little bit more warm and toasty than me because for some reason I thought buying a 50 degree sleeping bag would be good enough. But we got up, made a fire, both got a little something to eat. And yesterday we didn't come into a lot of real fresh sun. So today the goal is to venture a little bit further more. I guess that would be east of this unit, probably about another mile that way. And start looking for more fresh sign. And uh, if we do find fresh sign, come back, grab camp, move it there. And uh, hopefully if I start finding some elk. <laughs> That's all. Time for a snack. Oh, there's a squirrel right behind me. <laughs> it's, uh, freaked me out. There he goes. That way. Of that course. Way. God, that thing's really exciting. <laughs> anyway, time for a snack. Mid morning. $400 or four, $400. 400 calorie granola bar. Can't get that out. What are you eating? Jerky? I think so. <laughs> Not sure anymore. Cougar comes out. <laughs> mm, look at there. Somebody's been up here. Yep. All right, well, we just had a late lunch, got back to camp, <clears throat> found some better sign than what we did yesterday, but still looks like it's still a few days old, and uh, I still haven't heard a bugle. I haven't seen an elk. You see her? I saw it. It's a doe. Put right through there. Yep. I thought, that's a cougar. It scared me to death. <laughs> There's a doe. That was cool. First mule deer we've seen on foot. Alrighty then. Come out of there like oh honey badger. They were in that stuff. That stuff's seven foot tall. Come out of there with a vengeance. Jacob's gonna rip a bugle just, just because. 
we're only six minutes down this road off this mountain. Same result as always. In case you're wondering how stupid we are, there's a bridge about 30 yards that way. <laughs> Get here. It's intimidating. seen something with four legs. That's funny. <clears throat> well, that's the first big animal we've seen in here. In this new spot we moved to. This place is covered in aspens. It's beautiful. Alright, I think we're going to keep pushing forward. Into the wind. We've come to a point where we actually have to cross a creek 
and uh, it's kind of wide we can't just jump across so we've got our boots off <laughs> pants rolled up we're about to cross that thing this will be fun huh Jacob I hate my life <laughs> I just think it's gonna be deeper than I thought awesome. I have to roll my stuff up even more all right, Jacob, here you go. Yeah, ready. Get your boots. Don't make fun of my hands. I don't want your quiver. How did that fall off? Did you drop the soap? Yep. How about now? Oh wow. I'm committed. I'm committed. Oh, jeez. Oh. As long as I don't go underwater, I'll be okay. Looks like I'm going to throw my boxes up. Oh man, you're getting in deep stuff. I'm oh, 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 hurt. There's a freaking plastic cross right there. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh. Oh. That's not deep. Wow. You did, didn't you? Refreshing. Refreshing, but. Oh. Yep. That was the suckiest thing we've ever done. At least me, anyway. Suck level was about a nine. I agree. Uh, yep, yeah, he's doing it. I got my pants on. This is a public trail. We're gonna run into somebody. I've seen a hornet's nest. I ain't seen one in the ground. No, I've never seen one on the ground. Was that hornets? I thought hornets were bigger than that. I did too, but we got a hornet's nest hanging in the tree back home, and they look just like that. <laughs> now all of a sudden, Jacob wants to put his pants back on. Might be because there's a house over there, right there, and it looks like there might be a female on the roof. <laughs> It's crazy as that sounds, but uh, and our and our trucks over there. So what'd you say? <laughs> okay. Well, Hans got him move spots. We are now officially on top of the mountain, in the uh, middle of nowhere, and we're all alone up here. So we're pretty tickled about that. But we're gonna either way back through this kind of draw up to the top of this. A mountain called Bald Knob, and uh, looks real elky in here. So we're gonna see if we can at least get a lead on some for tomorrow morning. Right. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. Probably calling in otter. So, yesterday me and Scotty moved to the top of the mountain. We kind of went back here doing a little scout slash hunt trip, and uh, 
We made it all the way back to this meadow, and actually a bull, we think it was a bull, answered us way on top of the other mountain on top of this mountain. And uh, we made our way to him, and he never made a peep again. Uh, but we hunted all the way till dark. We were working our way back, and where we're standing right now, we have one bugle, probably 250, 300 yards up on top of his hill, twice at us, and uh, in the dark. So we're just going to walk our way back through these meadows, use the thermals. They're going to be coming down the mountain. We're going to hunt our way up and maybe make it to this highest point up here called Bald Knob by the end of the morning. So anyways, let's go find some elk. Where was that? Pretty much right where it was yesterday morning, or last night. I had my hood on, I couldn't tell which direction it was. I think you were right up there. Freak out. <laughs> Let's think about how to approach this. Well, we got the wind in our face. Throw that high. in the making of this film. <laughs>
needed him to take like four more steps. Oh yeah. We still have good wind, I just checked it. <sighs> just a little update. Uh, we followed this little herd of bull or little herd of elk. Um, Jacob even came to full draw on the bull twice. He's not a big bull, but, um, and then we started following him up the hill into the wind, and all of a sudden, up here somewhere, a bull, uh, bugled on its own, so, he sounded like a more mature bull than the one we saw, so, but he won't bugle again. <laughs> we don't know what made him bugle, but, it's 9.38 in the morning. He's a jerk. Yeah. They're just not bugling very much at all. How many bugles have we heard total? All right, it's day five, and we're trying a new spot. It's not looking too promising yet, but we're gonna get up on this hill here. There's like a big pinch point between two pieces of dark timber. We're gonna see if there's a pretty well used travel trail. This is a pretty good trail we're on here. Not sure if it's a human trail or animal trail, but since it's right here by this creek. Anyway. We're gonna head on up and see what see what we find. Got anything you wanna say? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. This trip been wearing on us for sure. Five days in. Well, we are heading home. Uh, I kind of feel disappointed, kind of not, because the whole basis behind this trip was to go out, see the mountains, enjoy some country we've never seen before. Uh, and knowing that there wasn't a real good chance we were gonna bring home an elk, especially a bull, with it only being 10% success rate, and even the last nine months of preparing for this trip, me and Scotty both, between all the time, effort, studying, scouting, everything changes when you get there. And it's just nothing like you think. Uh, you can jump on a stair climber at home, you can climb 2,000 feet, whatever steps, no problem. Uh, you get out here, you're gonna take 50, and you're ready to stop again. But we had a good time, and we actually almost got a shot at a bull. I needed him to take just a few more steps. And uh, it's just a game of inches, like everybody says. It's, but that was more than I expected, so I'm pretty happy with the turnout. But I think we're ready to go home. <laughs>